So I was stuck for a half an hour and I was trying to find out that what's the problem actually we are having and why our test is not working. And what I have found that I did a little bit spelling mistake in our contract. So let me show you, let me run the test and let me show you that now everything's working fine. So here we are in the single swap.js file. These are all the before and this is the function we have written. And now we go to test this. So let's open up your terminal and we're going to run the command npx hard hat. We have to get into the compile. So first we have to compile it and we got nothing to compile because we haven't done any changes in our smart contract. And now we're going to simply clear the terminal and we're going to run the test. And here we have and boom, here you can see that finally successfully we have done the single swap. And this is the exact value, die value which we have done. Sorry, which we have got. Okay, so this is the exact value we have got it back. And if we come here and this is from where we are console logout. And now let me show you that what are the changes you need to do to have the same working environment. So first thing we have to do is let's get back into this 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 smart contract. I W E T H dot soul. So in that what I have noticed that I made a spelling mistake in the deposit function and because this function we are calling in our test to deposit the deposit the amount into our smart contract so we had a spelling mistake in the deposit and in the other function so i simply change the spelling and you can see make sure to type the exact spelling which i have done here so this is the transfer allowance approve transfer form and these are the events so make sure to do these changes i will provide you this contract and the single swap contract as well so from there you can guys from there you can easily able to copy so that's the only change you have to do make sure to go through the entire exact thing what i have and now let's come back to the other function and this is the other function we have so in this i also made a little bit spelling mistake i had the same function twice and because of that i was getting the error so i did this changes so this is the single swap token you can see this is the swap exact input single we are passing the amount and these are the transfer safe transfer approve this is the params all the data we have and this time we have to call this swap exact output single i was calling the same single input so we had two function with the same name and because of that we were getting an error so make sure you have to type this output single and the rest would be same so make sure to do these two changes in both the smart contract i will provide you the contract so you can copy and paste here so things are looking fine let's come back to the taste and this is all the general setups we have done so this is the before element we have and this is the first aid block so i believe that you guys have done with all the changes both in both the contract i'll provide the code in the starter file so from there you guys can get it so let's start working and testing the second function so let's create a it block and in this we go to test this function swap exact output single this function is not that popular in most of the decentralized exchange if you look at uniswap sushi shop pancake in that you will find that you have to put your amount and you will get back the token but in this function what happened that you have to specify that what amount of token you want as an output and on the base of that your input amount will decide so let's test this functionality which we have in our smart contract so i'll simply paste the name and let's create the functions so the same old school we have to follow we have to get the amount the maximum amount we want to provide so i want to provide let's say 10th ether and i want to get back the die token so i want close to this amount of die let's deposit the width to our contract so we'll say deposit and we're going to define the value so this is the amount the maximum amount we want to define in exchange of that token so we have our token now let's call the approve and we have to approve our single swap token address and the amount now we have to call the swap so let's say await single swap and now we have to call the function so let's come here in the contract and simply let's come here and grab this function and in that we have to pass these two data so let's come here and we have to simply pass the uh, we have to pass the die amount out and dial width and now we have to console log out this account zero and address and we have to simply call the die balance weight die balance of and in that we have to pass the account zero and address and that's the only thing you have to do so this will give us the exact amount of output and let's comment out this very first function because it's already working simply comment this one 
and it's working fine now we have to test this one so what we can do is so we have this input amount this is the output amount token we want this is the deposit and this is the swap open up your terminal and now we have to simply run the test and here you can see we got the die back the die balance it is in the big number you can convert you will get that so everything is working fine so this function is also looking fine to me so let's come here and this is the address what we can do is simply replicate this and let's say account one and let me show you that what balance you will get can you guess that what balance will get in this account one because we are not transferring any die token into that so obviously it's going to be the zero one i hope you guys have guessed the right so let's check this account one and let's do one thing let's make this one as well and here you can see okay let's rerun the test and here you can see we got back this number so the zero account the first account we have this much die and the second account we have zero die so the entire smart contract is absolutely working fine and we can easily able to call this single swap and input and single swap output both the functions are working fine so this is the con track address of each of these token this is the variables this is the before block we have taken and this is the two function we have checking so you can define in multiple way so right now you can see that i have written a simple function to check this function if you want to check a specific value inside the function so you can see our single input so you can see the function like swap exact input single we have a lot of parameters a lot of data first we are transferring then we are approving then we are calling the swap so if you want to access those variables you can do the test for that as well so it's not necessary that you have to check but when you will work in the real world application when you're going to deploy those contract at that time you have to check every variable so it's looking fine to me let's simply uncomment this one and this is what we have the second function so things are looking good to me now what we can do simply close this one close this one and come here here we have this is this entire smart contract for the single swap token so we are done with this we're going to write a lot of contract we have to add liquidities a lot of things so just focus one thing at a time and simply close this one and let's come here 